Hey everybody, my name's Dan Furr and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you how to use a filter envelope. So in our last video we learned about how an envelope can modulate a filter. But how exactly does that work? Well in this video I want to explain that a little bit further. So let's take a look at some examples. With a filter envelope, rather than modulating amplitude, we modulate the filter cutoff. But the way the envelope reacts is the exact same as with an amplitude envelope. The attack, decay, sustain, and release all follow the exact same pattern. So you can see here, with a very long attack set on the filter envelope, you can hear a naturally sounding filter sweep that starts to grow and evolve. And that was a patch that I designed that was really focused on using a lot of attack on the filter envelope. There were a lot of many other parameters involved, but the main one was the attack on the filter envelope that allowed it to just grow and become something larger than life. So this next example I want to look at, I want to look specifically at the release on the filter envelope. So as you can see, with this example I have the release set at next to nothing, and as soon as I let go of the key, you can hear an instant swoop of the filter cutting out all these frequencies. But when the release is set quite high, that swoop doesn't happen, and that's because the filter is much more gradually fading out, creating much less noticeable of a filter sweep. So if you remember from our last video, envelopes are just a way to modulate a sound over time. With filters and with amplitude envelopes, they're both the same. They're a way to modulate a sound over time. So like I said before, an ADSR envelope is just a four point modulation envelope. It has four points of modulation. So with four points of modulation on your filter cutoff, you can understand you can do some crazy cool things and get some crazy cool sounds. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Dan Fur. As always, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Have a good one. Cheers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.